10 Most Impressive Mega Construction Projects in Tanzania Tanzania is a country in East Africa within the African Great Lakes region. It borders Uganda to the north, Kenya to the northeast, Comoro Islands and the Indian Ocean to the east, Mozambique and Malawi to the south, Zambia to the southwest, and Rwanda, Burundi, and the Democratic Republic of Congo to the west. Mount Kilimanjaro, Africa's highest mountain, is in northeastern Tanzania. As of 2021, according to the IMF, Tanzania's gross domestic product, GDP, was an estimated $71 billion, nominal, or $218.5 billion on a purchasing power parity, PPP, basis. GDP per capita, PPP, was $3,574. From 2009 through 2013, Tanzania's per capita GDP grew an average of 3.5% per year, higher than any other member of the East African community, EAC, and exceeded by only nine countries in Sub-Saharan Africa. Tanzania's largest trading partners in 2017 for its 5.3 billion US dollars in exports were India, Vietnam, South Africa, Switzerland, and China. Tanzania weathered the Great Recession, which began in late 2008 or early 2009, relatively well. Strong gold prices, bolstering the country's mining industry and Tanzania's poor integration into global markets, helped to insulate the country from the downturn. Since the recession ended, the Tanzanian economy has expanded rapidly thanks to strong tourism, telecommunications and banking sectors. All of these gives us a clue as to why Tanzania will involve itself in large mega-development projects to further expand its economy. Welcome to Thinkrich Media, the community which brings to you entrepreneurial, business and personal development content to inform, motivate and inspire you. We also want to introduce you to our special African development playlist because we strongly believe entrepreneurship, rather than global pity, is the key to Africa's growth and development. So if you're African and you aren't subscribed to our community, you're missing out. 10. Hoima, Tanga Crude Oil Pipeline Uganda's President Yauri Museveni signed the East African Crude Oil Pipeline Project Agreement with his Tanzanian counterpart Sabia Hassan Salubu. The agreement signed in the Ugandan capital Kampala paves the way for the construction of a 1,440-kilometer crude oil pipeline from Uganda's Albertine region to Tanzanian seaport of Tanga. Extraction will take place at two oil fields. The Kingfisher Field, which is operated by China National Offshore Oil Corporation Limited, and the Tailinga Field, operated by Total SA, the $3.55 billion pipeline could be the longest electrically heated crude oil pipeline in the world. Once completed, more than 10,000 job opportunities will be created during execution. Environmental activists say the project poses risks to protected environments, water sources and wetlands in both the countries due to carbon dioxide emissions from the burning of oil through the pipeline. 9. Julius Nyerer Hydropower Project Julius Nyerer Hydropower Station is a hydroelectric dam under construction across the Rufiji River in eastern Tanzania. Although controversial, the government approved the plans in 2018. The power station is expected to have an installed capacity of 2,115 megawatts, 2,836,000 horsepower, and to produce 5,920 gigawatts of power annually. The project power station and dam are owned by and will be managed by the government-owned Tanzania electric supply company, Tainsco. Construction began in 2019 and is expected to be completed in 2022. When completed, the dam will be fourth largest in Africa, the ninth largest in the world, and the largest power station in East Africa. The 134 meters, 440 feet, arched concrete dam is expected to create a reservoir lake, 100 kilometers, 62 mi, in length, measuring 1,200 square kilometers, 460 square mi, with 34 billion cubic meters of water. This power station is located in Celis Game Reserve, one of the world's largest World Heritage Sites, measuring 45,000 square kilometers, 17,000 square mi. The power station and reservoir lake are planned to occupy approximately 1,350 square kilometers, 
520 square mai within the game reserve. 8. Entora Fertilizer Plant The fate of the planned $1.9 billion fertilizer plant on the Entora coastline is still unclear as the government is yet to agree with potential investors on the project's commercial framework. The project was supposed to start in 2016 through a joint venture of the Tanzania Petroleum Development Corporation TPDC with several foreign companies, but they did not strike a deal with the government on the commercial terms to be involved. The Petroleum Upstream Regulatory Authority Pura, which regulates the exploration, development and production of natural gas and the liquefied natural gas LNG said at the weekend that the fertilizer project is still on, but the negotiations on commercial terms have not yet been concluded. The issue is mainly on the price of natural gas which would be used as raw material for manufacturing the fertilizer. 7. Rusumo Hydropower Project Despite criticism from environmentalists, Tanzanian President John Magufuli has inaugurated a new hydroelectric power project in Selis Game Reserve, a World Heritage Site. The project is expected to provide an additional 2,100 megawatts of electricity, which will more than triple Tanzania's installed hydropower capacity of 562 megawatts. Currently, only 10% of households in Tanzania have access to the National Grid for Electricity, according to the United Nations Development Program UNDP. Magufuli said the project will not affect the environment and will boost the economy through industrialization. The project will be contained to 3% of the Celis Game Reserve, a protected area about the size of Switzerland. Once completed, the dam will be owned by the Ministry of Tourism. Ahmed Elswidi, spokesman for Elswidi Electric, an Egyptian company which has financial interests in the project, said the company will open schools and help boost the economy, adding that the company plans to build factories, increase trade and open technical schools to train employees, but conservation organizations have been raising concerns about the dam's environmental impact since plans were released in 2009. 6. Phase 2 of DART Project Tanzania is set to commence construction of Phase 2 of the Dar e Salaam Bus Rapid Transit DART, in June this year. The DART administration confirmed the reports and said that 88.9% of the project would be financed by the Africa Development Bank ADB, while 11.1% of the project would be financed by the Tanzanian government. The DART project is 49% owned by the government and 51% owned by Simon Group Limited. The Yusafiri Salama Dar e Salam Rapid Transit UDA-RT, operates the system with Surface and Marine Transport Regularity Authority Sumatra, overseeing them. Phase 1 of the DART began in 2012 and was completed by 2015. The transit goes for 21.1 kilometers with 29 stations and a dedicated bus lanes. The project cost US 180 million US dollar and was funded by the Africa Development Bank the World Bank and the Government of Tanzania. Phase 2 of the 20.3-kilometer DART project starts at Jirazani and City Council BRT station. This involves Kalwa Road, Chainom Road, Kawawa Road, Jirazani Street, Bandari Road, and Sakoin Drive. The project will be built with infrastructures such as 29 bus stations, one bus depot at Mbegala Rangitadu, and two bus terminals at Mbegala Rangitadu and Kariapu Jirazani. new international airport in Dodoma. The project is part of program to expand the East African nation's infrastructure. It will be built in Ensalado, 12 km from Dodoma. It will include a passenger terminal, runway and related infrastructure. The new airport project, which will take approximately four years for construction, will have a capacity to handle 1 million passengers annually and will have a runway of just over 2 km in length. The funding package comprises a US $198.6 million loan from the African Development Bank AF, $23.52 million from the African Development Fund, and $50 million in co-financing from China's Africa Growing Together Fund, which the African Development Bank manages. 4. New Licking Omakinga Liquefied Natural Gas Plant $30 billion US dollar. 
Tanzania expects a consortium of international oil companies to start building a long-delayed liquefied natural gas LNG, project in 2022 and will be complied in 2028. Construction of an LNG export terminal near huge offshore natural gas discoveries in deep water south of the East African country has been held up for years by regulatory delays. The government said in March it planned to conclude talks in September with a group of foreign oil and gas companies led by Norway's Equinor on developing the LNG terminal. The country's central bank believes just starting work on the $30 billion plant would add another two percentage points to annual economic growth of around 7%. The project will have capacity to produce 10 million tons per annum and TPA, of liquefied natural gas. The international oil companies IOCS, will develop the project in partnership with the state-run Tanzania Petroleum Development Corporation TPDC. The plant would be located on approximately 2,071.705 hectares in Likingo village in the town of Lindi on the Indian Ocean coast. 3. Expansion of the Dar e Salaam port the government is implementing a project to expand seven berths depth from the current 8 meters to 15 meters. The expansion will allow the port to receive larger vessels able to carry up to 19,000 containers. The project will enable the Tanzania Port Authority TPA, to increase the container through output to 28 million tons a year from around 20 million containers currently. The port will be able to handle ships with more than 304 meters from the current 204 meters. 2. Tanzania SGR Project Tanzania will become the third country in East Africa to start enjoying modern railway services after Kenya and Ethiopia. Kenya was the first country in the region to start the construction of an SGR line, completing over 500 kilometers between Mombasa and Nairobi, and also inaugurating its passenger services in June 2017. The government is constructing a new electric railway line using domestic resources from Dardi Salam, Morogoro to Dodoma about 700 kilometers. The whole projects cover a distance of about 2,707 kilometers, with three branches from Dardi Salam, Tabora Kigoma, 1,251 kilometers, Tabora, Mwanza, 379 kilometers, and Kaliwa, Mpanda, 210 kilometers. The project is expected to improve transportation of cargo and passengers in the Central Corridor. It is expected to reduce time and freight for cargo destined to neighboring countries like Rwanda, Burundi, Uganda, and DRC. 1. Bagamoyo Port 11 billion US dollar. Through a collaboration between Tanzania, China, and Oman, the ambitious Bagamoyo Port is now being developed in Tanzania along with 190 industries built throughout a 1,700-hectare special economic zone adjacent to the port. At a cost of 11 billion US dollar, this mega-infrastructure project is designed to become Africa's largest port. The port should be able to handle 20 million containers annually once it's fully completed by 2045. The project will position Tanzania into a regional economic powerhouse. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and turn on post notifications so as not to miss out on any of our amazing videos on Africa, entrepreneurship and personal development. Help our channel grow.